In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can change, copy text styles and create text styles in Adobe Premiere Pro 2025. So this is an update video from my previous video, how to copy and paste text styles all at once in Premiere Pro. But after the update uh, they had quite recently, this has changed a bit. So here, as you can see, I have several text layers um, this text is different from this text um, and I want to have this <coughs> style as a style I can use for my other text layers so the way we can go about this is by selecting the text you want to have the style from uh, and then go into the properties window and if the properties window isn't visible you can go to window and then select properties and in this properties window which are text layer selected you're going to once again click your text here in the properties window and as you can see you get a lot more options visible so here you can see i have oklahoma oblique and i have a fill and a shadow if i check this one you can see that all these options haven't been selected and my text style is something different also so I want to use this style um, to apply to my other texts all at once. What I can do then is in the properties window, if I scroll a bit down, a bit down, you can see your linked style and for the moment it says none. But when I click this square icon, which says open style browser, we can see here local styles and open project. And this is a style I used before in another project. What you can do is either if you have used this before and you have local styles, deselect the local styles and then here you get the option to create a style from the selection or you can click this plus sign and then you can also choose create style from selection. Now we're going to create a style from my selection and we're going to give it a name. And then here you can choose save to project and save to local styles. Local styles will appear here in the right side and save to project will also appear there, but you will also get it in your project window. So I'm going to choose both to show you the difference. If I now press OK, then I can see here, there are two styles that have appeared. One is my project, in my project, and one is also in the local styles because I selected both. Now, to show you, if I select all three of these, as you can see here, I do not have an option to select the style window that has disappeared. If I just click one, then if I click here again, then I have the linked style here and I can select it here like this. As you can see, now it has changed and is the same as the one I made my style from. What I can also do, let me control command Z. Um, if I click this one and then I click this style browser window, uh, what I can do, let's say we want to use a local style. If I click here, it will also apply it. And then control one see again. If I right click here, um, then I can apply the style without changing the font. So now you can see it has put the shadow behind it, but it didn't apply the font for my style. But that being said, you can click it, but if you want to change multiple text layers at one once, then you can use the style which has appeared in your project window and just drag it on top of it. And here you can see all the styles have been changed. Just to show you, again, Oklahoma oblique, fill and shadow, and the same for this one, fill and shadow. So couple of ways to go about this, but if you want to copy and paste all at once, um, then the best way to go is selecting the one style you want to use, then creating a style using your properties window, this thing here, um, or cl clicking the plus sign to create a style from a selection, and then choosing to have it saved in your project, selecting all the layers you want to apply the style to, and then just dragging this style which appear in your project window on top of your text layers. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. 
press that subscribe button to see more of my videos. I have new ones going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.